Hey, what's happening guys? It's Mark back here on Mark's Aquatics. Today I'm going to make something completely different. Just thought I'd come up with a little idea in the workshop, so I thought I'd share it with you. Give it a go. If you remember the, um, the shrimp trees we made last time, which were a pretty good success I think, this time I'm going to make something a little bit different. What we got here, a bit of um, packing plastic. I'm going to cut myself a square of that off. Stick that to one side. Now we've got to shape that into a little ball. So we just snip the corners off. Like we do. And just keep working your way around and make yourself a little tennis ball shape. You can use polystyrene for this as well. It ain't going to poison your tank, so don't worry about that. I've used this stuff before as um, for standing filters on or skimmers on. And it's quite, uh, it's quite good stuff. It's just little cells with air in. And there you go, we've got a little brown ball now. So now what we're going to do, I've made a couple up as well, so we've got three there. Just chop them out. Shovel that to one side. Now I've got a bit of cat gut. So what I need to do is find my old tool here. Right. Okay guys, what we do, we get the... Um, the baiting needle, which is here, very small hook on the end. Now then, what we do is we shove that through there, right through the center, so it's on there like that. Put that right, your cat gut then, around the baiting needle hook, and then pop it on like that. Okay, and then you pull that bit through and then you can go through and just tie, a, tie that knot in it then. You don't need any fancy knots on there. Then once that's tight, get your scissors and chop that end off there. Okay. And so you've got that hanging on there. And then what we do, we get a little rock at the aquarium. Cut your uh, cat gut off at a tidy length. And just tie that onto your stone. Now if you actually hold that and pull it around the rock and hold the other end, it'll tighten it up onto the rock itself, okay? Because sometimes the, the knot with the cat gut will undo slightly. But by doing that, it'll hold on there. So there you go. You can imagine how you drop that into your tank. And that now is going to float up. I'll just wrap it around the rock a little bit, just to make it a bit shorter. Just so you can kind of see how it works. And that's going to float up there like a little football in your tank. So then all your fish are going to come along, they're going to knock that, and it's going to go all over the place. They're going to have a right game and laughs with that. It depends what you put on it. For this, for this one, we're going to put... Um, some of the shrimp powder on it that we put onto the um, onto the sticks that we made the uh, shrimp lollies, the shrimp trees. We're going to we're going to use some of that on there with a bit of egg white. Dry that on there, and then we'll chuck it in the tank and see what they make of it. It'll make 
Okay guys, we're back into the kitchen now. I've got the uh, the powder. Have a look at that. Go back on the video if you didn't see the one about the uh, shrimp lollies. Go and check that out and I'll show you how to make this out of uh, out of nettles and and various other leaves, maple leaves I think we used and hawthorn, which my shrimp absolutely love. So we made that. Smells quite nice as well. Make a cup of tea out of it maybe, I don't know. Try it. <laughs> People make tea out of everything these days. So right, so what I think, this is the ball. That's on the stone. So it's going to act like your little avatar floating garden for food. That's what I thought. So I thought we'd, um, you've got the egg white in here. So we're just going to paint a very, very thin layer of this on. Just so these leaves stick to it. Go all the way over. Chuck that in there. And now we've got that covered. Covered in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in there, in the pot like that. I'm going to put the lid on around the cat gut. And we're going to give it a good old shake about. And then it'll all stick then to the uh, to the ball. So when it comes out, it looks like that. There you go. Looks like a little planet. <laughs> planet algae. Right. Just give that a couple of taps. As you can see, it hangs on there quite well already. We'll put that down. Well, I think what we're going to do now is we'll let that dry. First, see that this is very, very dry, so it's going to stick to that uh, the egg quite well, and it's going to stick to it, and it's going to harden quite quick. I don't know if you've ever left egg or you've seen egg which is dried out; it goes like a transparent um, clear. I think that's what they actually make the shrimp sticks out of. Because if you look at the ingredients on how they make them, this is egg powder. So I assume that they just mix it up, whisk it up with spirulina um, and stuff like that. And then they actually just dip the sticks into it. So they're very, very cheaply made. Um, and this is a really good way of making them. I mean, if you want to use spirulina powder and mix that in with that as well, better still. You could also mix nori with it, which is the seaweed. You can blend that up. That blends up into a powder really well. Um, add that to your pot of uh, magic stuff. And, um, and like I say, you can literally, you can put a thin film of egg on anything, dip it in and make something different. I mean, I, I look at it, I look at my fish tanks every day and I think, oh, what can I do just to make something, just to put something different in there in the evenings or come home or I might coat a little pebble with it or, you know, a bit of egg on there, dip it in and just drop it in the tank. And um, it's just to see what the uh, the fish make of it and the shrimp make of it. And um, you see, it's just food, so they're going to go for it, but it's just something that I like to do with the hobby. And it just keeps my interest um, and, and just learning different things and learning new techniques and saving a few pounds in the process. But uh, this is done. Still a bit damp. I think what we'll do is we'll leave that now. There's not much left on my fingers there. I'll put that safe. And now I'll leave that for a couple of hours and then when we come back we'll, uh, we'll bung this in the tank and see what the uh, Bloody Marys and the um, the golden yellow stripes of Kuras think of it. All right, lads and lasses, I'll see you very soon.
we're back an hour later as you can see plenty of activity on the shrimp mine like I say I do apologize for the tank I'm having a bit of light issue here so we've got a bit of algae and a little bit of gen chem uh, which I put in there yesterday as well which hasn't properly uh, cleared up yet but uh, yeah good little good little fun project to make as well to stick in your tank keeps the snails off and um, just a bit of fun really hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe and if you're new to the videos pop back and have a look at some of the other ones that I've done and uh, it might encourage you to subscribe all right guys love you all you're all stars and I'll see you on the next one bye for now just me and my guitar.